Just bringing the temperature up. So these are the two new uh, meat probes I bought off Amazon. Cause you know the lock cord only comes with two. So these are the replacements. It's actually the same one. I'm gonna use one today. My secret, my secret recipe spray right here. Internal temperature, 152. Let's put my butt sitting right there. I got a probe in that one. Yeah. Every time I watch a YouTube video, they always say more about the temperature than the time. I got 20 minutes left on my timer. But my internal temperature did not hit 170. I could be wrong, I'm gonna I'm Google it real quick and see exactly where it needs to be. I got some uh, apple cider vinegar right here. Apple cider mixed with apple juice. I've seen some guys use some uh, some kind of apple beer, but I couldn't find an apple beer. Maybe I could have found it, but I ain't looking for it. Yeah, we're just gonna moisten these things down. Make sure they don't dry out. Yeah, we're cooking, baby. We're cooking. Let's go back in the house and hydrate. My little lamb chop appetizer. It's about done. I put it up here in the top shelf with some butter on it. Just gonna let it sit for a little while. Internal temperature 181. I'm gonna give them about 10 more minutes. In more minutes, we're gonna take it up, take it up, chop it up, put it in the barbecue sauce.
I gotta record that bitch trail. Hey, 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 pull it like it's a car. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, last night I had some friends over. And we was uh out here grilling out. I didn't get a chance to record the, the, the damn uh, burnt ends when they came off. But they were delicious, though. Man, we got to watching that Duke Carolina game last night. So, uh, ended up going in the house. And by the time by the time I took the food off, I didn't even think to, to record it. Because I was so busy caught up, you know, being a host. So, here we are this morning. I'm out here about to clean my grill up. I haven't cleaned it since I got it, but I'm gonna clean it. Look at that barbecue sauce on the ground. I gotta clean that up too. The damn fly is gonna be all on the front porch. Now I don't use this on the on the back porch because on the front porch I got a roof. <sighs> but one thing I wanted to show y'all since I got it took apart. I don't know if you remember when I first got the grill, I was talking about some models they have a they have a handle that sits right here, that ashes it out. But I, I thought I did something wrong because when I was looking at the YouTube videos on the grill, some of them had a handle that you pull it, you pull the handle and it puts the ashes in this tray and then you pull it out. But one thing I noticed this morning while I was cleaning it, see the opening right there on the back? The ashes sit inside this hole. So this model, when you pull it out, I'm trying to get it. Yeah, when you, when you pull it out, the ashes drop. They drop right in that little cup. And then you just pull it all the way out. And the ashes sit right here. So that's the difference. That's on this model. When you slide this tray out, they automatically drop in that hole and then you can just dump it. And I got a bucket sitting right there. That's where I dump it at. But right now I'm about to use this vacuum cleaner. And I'm about to, about to clean this thing out. Hey, Mike Martin, this for you right here. This is, this is that damn Gorilla Glue. This is on another post. I think I used too much. And I still got to fix that one. But I come to the realization from now on, I'm not going to turn it around when I use it. So I don't got to worry about knocking these posts out. I'm not going to turn it around this way. I'm just going to leave it sitting right here. For, yeah, for now, I'm just going to cook with it right here. I ain't going to worry about trying to twist it because the wheels that turn on this side. So I'm going to knock all these damn posts out if I keep messing with it. Look, I'm, in, I'm on the verge of knocking that one out. So for now, I'm just going to cook with it right here. So until next time, flatbed game. I love y'all. So I've used my pit boss smoker a few times, and now it's time to clean it. But how do we do that? Well, first we're gonna get a brush, and we're gonna scrape these grates. Then we're gonna take them out. Then we're gonna take that pan out. Look at all that debris. Now we're not gonna scrape it in here. We're gonna take it out and put it in the grass and scrape it.
gonna break some of this stuff up with my brush before I put the vacuum on it just to help pick it up a little easier. We somewhat back to like brand new. Look at the grass up there. When I threw the grapes out in the grass, but you know what? Next time I use it, I'll fire it up and that stuff will burn right off. Internal temperature 181. Let's take a look. Look at that juiciness. About to chop them up and put it in the barbecue sauce. Here's my, here's my little choppers. Marinating with some butter. In the top rack. Right 